world. Here I am again. Experiment number three. I seem to do things in threes. I don't know if you've you've um, <laughs> can see a pattern forming. I'm going to try and break that habit. But <laughs> here we go. Anyway, so. This was experiment number one. Why am I, first of all, why am I doing this? I'm using UK products, um, PVA glue, no flow troll, um, house paint. And I just want to see what effects I can get and whether they dry well, because I see so many lovely, beautiful techniques um, that you get with flow troll, Aussie flow troll. And I want to, I'm not going to be able to get exactly the same techniques, but I want to be able to do it without selling a kidney to get Aussie Flow Troll. Incidentally, I do have some. And um, I didn't sell a kidney, but it was £25. So I will be doing paintings with this in the future, but very, very sparingly. <laughs> Very sparingly. So anyway, I digress. Okay, one and two, Phoenix, which I don't know. I still could do a bit of tidying up, but we're going to put that to one side. It didn't achieve what I wanted it to achieve. So today, my background, this one here is going to be normal white base. So my normal Amsterdam titanium white mixed with PVA, nothing else in it, okay? PVA and water to quite a thin consistency on this side. On the other side, we're gonna do my house paint base. So that is my house paint to quite a thin consistency mixed with PVA and water, this exactly the same ratio as I would use to my normal um, acrylic paint, but perhaps obviously less water because it's more fluid, okay? I have, I'm going green because I have green left over. Um, and sorry, I can't explain what the colors are because, and I've got some blue here, phthalo blue green shade this is pretty sure or it could be a mixture so what i do with leftover paints if they're all similar similar colors i'll just put them in the same same little tubs with lids um and then get around to using them one day so we're going greens blue and copper 70 percent uh pva 30 percent water Um, so uh, that's it for the moment um, and I'll explain what I do to try and get things happening when we've put the bases down. I hope that makes sense. Incidentally, I picked up these canvases from the range. They were so cheap. They were £1.79 each. This is a 24 by 30. Uh, NASA, fine art. No idea for any good or not, but for £1.79, when you're experimenting, no brainer. Okay. My colours have have only PVA and water. My last video, I was putting Liquidex gloss varnish in those to try and get some reaction. I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to put that in my whites for a swipe and see what happens, okay? So um, to a certain extent, I am relying on paint densities. So these are thinner. <sighs> What am I doing? Sometimes I doubt myself quite a lot. Just remember to cut that bit out.
Now I'm going to take some whites. This is um, my white base coat. I'm going to add two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you don't mix this in really well, it will split. So I am going to use the palette knife, but I'm too scared to jump straight in. So do a bit down here just with the back of the spoon. Back of the spoon in the paint. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. That copper's completely sank, so see if we get some of that back. So this white is sinking, but very, very delicate lacing through there. Very delicate lacing. I like how the copper's showing through the blue there. So I just swapped a voiceover um, because I want to speed this up to squeeze <laughs> one more variant in at the end of this video. So this side is my house paint base. Um, <clears throat> I'm quite pleased with what's happened on the uh, left hand side there. Probably a little bit heavy, wanted more, more negative space, but it's an experiment. Now I know with the house paint, it will start to eat paint up and you can see right away when I start to add the colours they, they immediately start to sink but this is what we want um, and again pop the air bubbles before you stretch it because they will catch and pull so stretch this quite a lot and there's some beautiful effects happening and I do you know I could have left that there and I wish I had so I add the copper and this is me swiping with the house paint background with some gloss varnish added, as I did in the first one. But actually, I'll start mixing and matching um, <laughs> just to see what different effects I get. And to be perfectly honest, I kind of lose my way a little bit. But we're just going with the flow. But here on this side, I am loving what's happening really lovely lacing um, i tilt the canvas because i'm not that keen on these canvases the paint starts to spill in the middle start it doesn't it's not flowing off the edge you can just see it at the bottom there of the left hand one it's 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 not going off the edge of the canvas so i won't be buying these again but look at this Sorry about my nails. Christmas nails still on. I'm slowly picking them off. It's stress. Um, lockdown, I can't get my nails done. But look at the lacing. It's really nice. So I, I definitely think that I can pursue this one. This one is also beautiful. Look at that. We love those. But you do have to be careful with this because it can split. And I, I can see the dried results and in certain areas it has split, which is such a shame actually. 
because there's some lovely, lovely things. And don't forget, the aim of this is to use products that I can get my hands on really cheaply. I know that if I had a GAC 800, I know that if I had a Floetrol, but I'm, I'm just trying to get something that I like that will work for me. And I definitely like this. So <laughs> back to voiceover, because it was raining so hard when I filmed this that you, you wouldn't have heard me speak anyway. So honestly, this is the last variant um, and what I do here is I mix 50% um, Amsterdam Titanium White with 50% of my house space mix. So I'm doing a combination of the experiments that I've just done with the base. Now, I decide to layer up a cup with those colours that I've just used just to do something a little bit different um and on, you don't use a lot of paint for this actually apart from the, the background color your, your the colors i'm trying to use them really minimalistic um and even here i've got too much paint because i'm really after a minimal look with lots of negative space i don't quite achieve it in this one but i do the next one so I'm really random about how I put the colours down and um, trying to get the blue out there. Oh, it's my phone. Quick torch and again, I tilt the life out of it. Now, I'm just really conscious of leaving a lot of paint on the canvas. And you can see here, you get zigzagging, that's because my paints aren't really the same consistency, but I'm experimenting and I'm swiping. And sometimes I just uh, forget about the rules. <laughs> so I'm just putting some of the titanium white with spray varnish on the back of my palette knife. And I just run it through the uh, top. And it's, you can see here, I'm hesitating. You know, we speed videos up so much because we don't want them to be too long but i kind of maintain it gives you a false representation actually of how long it takes to do a painting so just swapping tools i like using the back of the spoon because it's really a really light touch but you do seem to get a bit more reaction with the palette knife Perhaps it's because you go on a bit heavier. So I, I love doing this because it's, you're just working with what you're given. You just, there's no plan, you know, you just look at the shapes and the colours and decide where you want to swipe and see what's happening. Don't like the corner, put some more colour down, swipe again. And we, I am getting some effects. I am getting some cells happening. But here we go. This is when I start to... I light bulb switches. So I really go for a minimalist look. And I just love flinging the paint on the canvas. I just do. I just love being totally random. I love it that you're working with um, spills and splodges and lines and um, just really good. But I do have in my head that I want it to be a kind of a landscape um, scene. So I tilt the paint off the canvas. Quite a lot of paint comes off the canvas, actually. Only tilt horizontal. Only tilt horizontally. And even then, just leaving it like that looks really nice. 
I'm going to go in with my, I'm calling it a Celebac activator. I don't know if it is or not. And I'm just loving it. I'm just really loving it. I'm really looking forward to doing some big canvases with lots of negative space and just really contemporary. Then playing around with different colours and all sorts of things. There you go, you see. I mean, look, very interesting things happening there. Now, I'm not going to show the dried results. I'm going to show that on the next video.